ഭൗമ നിരീക്ഷണ ഉപഗ്രഹമായ നൈസാർ വിക്ഷേപിച്ചു ശ്രീഹരിക്കോട്ടയിലെ സതീഷ് ധവാൻ സ്പേസ് സെന്ററിൽ നിന്ന് ജി എസ് എൽ വി എഫ് സിക്സ്റ്റീൻ റോക്കറ്റിലാണ് ഉപഗ്രഹം കുതിച്ചുയർന്നത് ഭാരതവും അമേരിക്കയും സംയുക്തമായി നടത്തിയ ആദ്യത്തെ ഉപഗ്രഹ വിക്ഷേപണമാണിത് രണ്ട് ഫ്രീക്വൻസിയിൽ ഭൂമിയുടെ ഉപരിതലത്തെക്കുറിച്ച് പഠിക്കുന്ന ആദ്യത്തെ ഉപഗ്രഹമായിരിക്കും നൈസാർ ഇപ്പോൾ ഐ എസ് ആർ ഒ ചെയർമാൻ സംസാരിക്കുകയാണ് തത്സമയ ദൃശ്യങ്ങളിലേക്ക് actually we have got the orbit with a dispersion of less than 3 kilometers against as against the permissible level of 20 kilometers perij the specification is 742. 742 kilometers we have got 740 kilometers apogee 745 kilometers is the specification we have got 747 kilometers and all the parameters are as expected and in the right line and this accomplishment is a team work culmination of the team work of both isro and jpl nasa the nisr satellite is a significant milestone for both department of space and nasa jpl being the first joint development project undertaken by the two major space faring nations nisr is an all weather day night imaging satellite that will scan the entire earth at 12 day interval the satellite integrates isro's s band synthetic aperture radar payload with nasa's l band sar payload and 12 meter unfurlable reflected antenna to become the first of its kind a dual frequency sar satellite nsr will enable the scientific community to detect the surface variations sea ice detection investigate natural hazards monitor soil moisture and many other applications the potential application from this satellite are huge and the global scientific community is eagerly awaiting the satellite data for their respective research and usage the implementation arrangement between isro and nasa for a joint earth observation satellite mission was signed on 30th september 2014 between then it was signed by the then chairman isro secretary of department of space dr k radhakrishnan who is sitting in front of us and with the nasa administrator mr charles bolden in fact we were so happy to participate in that function which happened in toronto since then the realization of satellite in isro progress steadily under the outstanding leadership of subsequent chairman sri kiran kumar sir who is also present in the audience dr k sivan dr somnath and also under different project directors on this occasion let me congratulate all of them also salute each and every one of the team members who contributed for this significant achievement let me also congratulate all the technical teams administrative teams both in nasa jpl and isro who worked shoulder to shoulder to build the satellite at ur rao satellite center over the past so many years the nsr mission has brought the two space agencies much closer than ever before and the continuous interactions at various levels during the course of project execution has enriched both sides on behalf of department of space and isro let me thank the nasa jpl team and all other stakeholders in the project for their excellent contribution to the joint mission also congratulate them on the successful launch we wish the scientific community from both sides the exciting days ahead let me also congratulate the isro teams from sac urc vssc iasu iprc lpsc istrac and all the teams involved in the payload development satellite integration realization of solid liquid and cryogenic stages inertial systems and the launch vehicle itself let me take the opportunity to congratulate the chairman launch authorization board all the center directors who are with me it's a team nice sir vikshepanam vijayagaram irikkugeyana